December 2021 journal of what the Lord's been doing in our lives this month. One of the things that surprised me the most was asking a friend at church whose husband died a few months ago from COVID. She was telling me some of her struggles and I said, well, has it brought you together closer as a family? She has two young kids about ages nine and 13, somewhere in there. She said, no, it's tearing us apart. And that really shocked me. I said, well, do you pray together? And she said, no, the kids won't pray with me. They're disrespectful. They won't do what I say. They don't get along with each other. And that just floored me. Like I was really astounded. You know, Adam and I have been through a lot in the last couple of years, but it's brought us closer and closer, closer together. And I pray that it will for her eventually as well, bring the family closer together. One thing that happened this month was Adam and I had an argument. We were on vacation on the way to Anchorage, and we really had a strong discussion. We don't raise our voices at each other, but sometimes we say hurtful things to each other. And we had to go back and apologize and think what caused it and realize we don't do vacation very well together. And we just, we work together well, but we don't vacation very well. So that's one thing we want to work on in the future and talk about, discuss, and figure out. Um it has been exciting because another thing we've been doing is fasting and praying one day a week together, Adam and I, and Joanna sometimes joins us for a meal and for prayer time, and it's been really good. We've seen so many answers. Usually the day that we fast, we have a lot of connection with other people and opportunities to share what God's doing in our life, and things like that. So it's exciting to see what God's doing through fasting, and we haven't done a faithful consistent fast like that for quite a while or maybe ever in our marriage 25 years um so that's exciting and we're seeing answers to that this month we focused on reading first john and we studied that with our friend carol she's away with her mom but we talked with her a couple times over the phone and shared what we were learning from first john and uh, so that was good. Adam really studied it in depth and did some videos on that. Um, what else do we do? Joanna, our daughter, has been asking more and more questions about the Bible. She's nine now, and it's really fun to see her growing and understanding. She knows a lot of the Bible stories, and she's putting things together. Every day she and I read a chapter from Genesis and pray together. And then we also have Bible study with Adam in the evening. And it's really neat to see the lights coming on and her just making these different connections with stories that she knows and why did they do that and why did that happen and comments. And it's really exciting to see the growth in her. And she's been really a big blessing. She's been very obedient. And I know sometimes we're asking her to do difficult things, but we see God working in her life to be a real blessing and a help to us. We had a sledding day this month on a Saturday. About four families came from Joanna's homeschool group, and that was really fun. We Adam did a lot of work to um, groom the trail and pack it down so it would be nice sledding. We have a long, slow hill, and then he got out the snow machine with the sled behind, and he'd give everybody rides back up because it's a long ways to walk back up. So, of course, they loved it. It's kind of like cheater sledding. You know, you get the free ride back up. Um, and everybody had a really good time, and we like to do things like that just to, to try to connect with people and build that type of relationship where you can get to know people better, ask serious questions, and see um, if they have a spirituality that really affects their family and their everyday life, where they might be stuck, where we can help them, anything we can do to further their communication with God and their obedience to Him. Um, we, after... Going to the food distribution for, I don't know, two years now, maybe more. We're slowly getting to know people. And so one of the ladies there had a baby, and she's a neighbor who lives nearby. And she allowed us to come to her house and bring food. And she allowed us to take her son to the food distribution when she couldn't go. And so it's been fun to get to know that family better. And Adam got to talk to his son and ask him to read the Bible and um, with Adam talk about it a little bit and... Um, so that was a good opening, and she's very religious, She, but not doesn't lead a spiritual life or, like, doesn't believe in a personal holiness, but more like just 
a religion like do, don't eat this and the Sabbath day and that to her is more important than whether she yells at her kids or treats them right, which Jesus had the other way around. You know, it's it's good to go to church, but it's good to treat your family right as well. So clean the inside and then the outside. Um, so those are kind of the things that we're working on with her. I have another neighbor who's Japanese, and she has never had any exposure to Christianity as far as reading the Bible or understanding Christianity. And her English isn't that great, but I really had fun. I guess this was a highlight of the month for me was that I got to talk to her and share with her about what Christianity is. And I was able to get across that we've all sinned, we've all done things wrong, and that Jesus took the punishment for our sin. And I just saw the lights come on. This was after about 45 minutes of discussion. And the lights really came on and she says, oh, that's why people say thank you, Jesus. She clasped her hands together and said, that's why people say thank you, Jesus. So I don't know where she's seen that, but uh, she started to understand. And I had it a tract in Japanese with some Bible verses on it, and I gave that to her in Japanese and English, and she's studying that, and we're going to get together again, so that was super fun. We've been going to church and asking people a lot of questions. We like to ask afterwards, hey, how is that? Often there's a good message, and you could say, oh, have you practiced uh, Thanksgiving? How does that affect your life? Have you practiced repentance? Where are you at spiritually? How did you meet God? It's very interesting to ask probing questions and see where people are at. And then you know how to pray for them or how to talk to them, how to work with them. Um, and sometimes it's very discouraging. We don't see a lot of real spiritual life happening. There's um, definitely a group that comes every week, but they seem to do that to fulfill their religious feeling and not to really see Jesus working their everyday life, which is unfortunate, but we like, I think we've encouraged some people there by having a spark of spiritual life and sharing testimonies like this of what God's done. And after church, we've been going to stores. It's our day to shop because we're in town and we don't go to town real often. So as we shop, we try to talk with people, hand out some tracks one lady did get healed in her hip that we prayed for her. And another friend we met three times. And we got, I think it was really miraculous because she opened up to us and we we're able to pray for her now that we know what's going on. Um, some things are embarrassing and people don't want to share and they don't want to let anybody close to them, but then they can't get the help that they need either. So um, the Lord's really opened up the door with that family. Uh, to where at least we can see what's going on and maybe be a little closer friends so that we could hopefully help them in the future and what they're really struggling with is deep struggles that people have. So um, those are the main things that have happened this week, this month, and it's been exciting. It's not always baptizing a ton of people, but sometimes it's just God working on our lives, helping me to be more respectful to Adam which passes down to Joanna and help her do the same. And that's a really important thing that the Holy Spirit does in us. And, and so that's December 2021.